Hey guys, Master Soul Warrior here, and welcome to Chapter 20 Gaiden, The Bow of Winds. And this is also Part 74 of Let's Play Fire Emblem Fui no Tsurugi. And here's that damn recolor guy again. And his six, and, and his fucking five brothers, apparently. Now, like I said before last... Now, like I said in the last video with this map, there are six tents you want to go to to check where Merglace is. There are two in the top of the map, two in the middle of the map, and two in, and two at the bottom of the map. These are guarded by six promoted bosses, each of them with the same goddamn portrait, which is a recolor of the first dude we... F was a recolor of the first boss from the CK arc. It's freaking lazy on... It was, this was so lazy on IS's part, I have no idea why they did it. But anyway... Half of... Anyway, three of them are druids, and three of them are nomad troopers. The nomad troopers aren't so bad. It's the druids you want to watch out for because they have status staves. One of them has a silent staff, one of them has a berserk staff, and one of them has a sleep staff, I believe. So be careful. So you want to be careful where you step. Anyway, I don't see how these are ruins. It's nothing but the tents. There's no, there's no like ruin fortress or anything. It's just the tents. So I completely discredit the game on this. But anyway, yeah. I apologize for you know not doing anything for the past three months while I've had this video on backlog. And if you haven't already figured it out by by my saying that, yes, this is post commentary. I have no idea what I would have remembered to say in January, so don't throw a shit fit over it, please. If I sound kind of tired, eh, if I sound kind of angry, I apologize for that. It's because I've tried to record this about three times now. Booker it, bonk. Anyway, um, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, now I remember. No, I don't. <laughs> oh god, this is horrible. So yeah, um... Again, I apologize for not doing anything with this for three months, but... But it was my last semester at college, and I had to finish it. Speaking of which, as of two days... As of now, well, since two days ago, I'm officially a college graduate. I have a bachelor's in science now. Well, I have a bachelor of science now, so... It's pretty bitchin'. Now I just need to find a job, <laughs> and that's not, and that's gonna be that's one of the things I actually need to talk about because updates. I'm not sure how they're going to work exactly because there's a because there's been a lot of stuff that's gone on over the last three months, not just involving school, but with my somewhat personal life. I mean, I don't know. There's not really a whole lot going in my life that I would consider personal, but whatever. I guess I'll ex I guess I'll explain that while I'm talk while I'm on this subject. The first, but the first one is kind. The first one, uh, this. I'm still not all that. I'm still not all that over what happened. So it's still still rather un. Um, well, not uncomfortable for me to talk about. It's just difficult for me to talk about. But you guys, but all 91 of you. Yes, I have 91 subscribers now. Woohoo. All 91 of you have been very patient with me over the last three months, so you do have a right to, um, so you do have a right to know about what's been going on. So, here goes, um, as much as I, just, now just spit it out, unfortunately, my grandfather, on my dad's side of the family, lost his lost his battle with cancer and passed away on and passed away on St. Patrick's Day this year, last March, oh, this March. I'll just I'll just let that sink in for a minute. So yeah. It was a battle. F it was a long. It was a. It was a battle that he fought over the course of a year on multiple fronts. 
But unfortunately, at some point, the chemotherapy just ended up not doing anything. So, I guess it was inevitable, but it doesn't make it any less sad, don't you think? <sighs> yeah, I'm still... It was... I actually saw him at one point when he was in hospice care. And... It was... It's... It's arguably one of the saddest things I've ever seen in my life. To see someone who you know, was so vibrant and full of energy just laying there in seemingly total defeat, it's, it's just... It crushes you looking at it, you know? Especially when you're not used to it like I, like I was. I, I only went there when he was in hospice care once, but... I cried virtually the entire time. I I couldn't even look at him because it made because I just I cried so much. And about two weeks after that, when on the morning of St. Patrick's Day, I get the news that he's passed away. It was very tragic. He was buried on Saturday with military honors, and just like I did with my grandfather on my mother's side of the family, I took possession of the flag. I handled it better this time than I did the first time. I actually thanked the man, I actually thanked the soldier who gave me the flag, which I couldn't do the first time because I was so distraught. Um, but, then the, but then this leads into a whole other issue. My grandmother, on that side, on my dad's side of the family, would be living alone. Other, living alone in a house is really far away. Otherwise, so we are. So my family and I are going to be moving her into a senior living center called Oakcrest. It's supposed to be very nice. It's not. When I say senior living center, I don't mean a home. It's not one of those types of places. It's a. It's a much from. From my understanding, it's a very nice place. It allows it allows seniors to be independent yet still somewhat monitored. So that's always good. But what this means for me is I'm going to be helping to move the needed stuff from my gram from my grandmother's house into the new Oakhurst apartment, helping take out the stuff that she doesn't want and helping to sell it. And that's going. I don't know how long that's gonna take, or when we're even going to start, because as far as I know, because we haven't even like um, settled on the apartment yet, that's gonna that's gonna take a little while longer. I don't think it's even gonna happen until next month. In other news, oh, oh. what also happened during the course of the semester was my sister and her now fiance bought their house. Yes, they've already bought their house. And they're not even married yet. Um. It's a nice place. I've been there quite a few times now since they bought it. It's it's big. It's very nice, very modern house. I wish them the best. I mean, you know, who would? But so yeah, I had to help move them in there. And, bef and I think and before they bought the house, they actually asked me if I wanted to be a part of the wedding. And, well, I said yes, so I'm going to be one of the groomsmen, if I remember right. So I'm going to be helping people get into the aisles and stuff. Um, and most importantly, now that I'm done with college, I'm going to have to, st I'm going to start looking for a real job. I'm still going to be keeping my part-time job at the movie theater, at my local movie theater, as a sort of as a fallback, just so I, you know, just so you know, I'm still making money. But you know, there's only so much you can do on your own. Um. Hmm. Really, I just. So yeah, as it stands, I'll I'll try to update when I can, 
but depending on how things work out, it, updates could end up being rather sporadic. So I'm so I'm not saying to get your hopes up with me being back right now. Like I said, I'll try to update when I can, but I can't promise a real consistency right now because my schedule is probably going. I'm gonna try to just you know finding a job, helping with the moving, and and eventually my sister's wedding. That's gonna keep me busy till September maybe. So yeah. Um. All right. Enough of that depressing talk. I think it's time I change the subject to something else. Yep. There's the sleep staff. Yeah, now I'm actually talking about the game. A do ho 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 ho. Um. Yeah. But yeah, to keep myself somewhat sane with a busy schedule in school and all that jazz, um, I started to do special. I started to do a set of special runs on on my copies of FE9 and 10, and I'm doing. They're, they're basically special character runs. I won't go into too many details on that because I have plans for those at some point in the future. But what I will say is this, my proof of concept for FE9 is sound. I can do that on hard mode with the characters I want, no problem. FE10 though, that's going to take quite a bit of work. I mean, as of right now, I'm... I'm, I'm eh. My proof of concept run in FE, in FE10 is not done yet. But I am at part four, end game five, right now, with all of the characters that I that I'm using. Nearly all of them at level 20, aside from one. But that was just circumstance, really. Um, I don't know. Asher always seemed. I don't know. I, I seem to be unlucky. Asher always seems to kill one of them at the most inopportune time, and this is after I've taken out about four auras or so. In fact, the last time it happened before I gave up today when I'm recording was actually, um... was actually after I'd taken out all of the auras. So you can imagine how pissed I was. But, yeah, um... Yeah, for those of you who've... who've, um... who've been on my Skype, you, you know that I've been streaming lately as well. Especially over the last couple of days, just to, you know, celebrate the fact that I'm done with school and all that jazz. But yes, I I did open up a Justin TV account. The link is in my profile if you want to. Um, well, actually, Justin TV doesn't keep any videos past a week unless you say otherwise. But oh well. But yeah, that's where I'll do my stream. But yeah, that's where I'm gonna do streams when I feel like doing them. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have like a schedule. But then again, none of the people I will I go. But then again, none of the people whose streams I go to really have a schedule. So moot point, I guess. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. what else? Um, oh yeah. Over, also, over the course of school, I got, I got a couple of. Oh, oh it was also my birthday. I turned I turned 22 this year, which is pretty awesome. Ow. And. As it stands, this LP, as well as my time as a Let's Play channel, is going to be hitting one year old in three days. Which also happens to be Mage Knight 404's birthday, if I remember right. If it, at least if I remember right, it's May 20th. Ray, correct me if I'm wrong. Feel f Ray, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was May 20th. Well, for your birthday, anyway. For me, though, yes, my LP anniversary. It's my YouTube birthday is is in three days, as well as the one year anniversary of me starting this Let's Play, so... Yay, Fu no is gonna be turning one year old, woo. <laughs> but I feel sad that I'm not done it yet. Um... I might try to do something special for Ray's birthday, I'm not sure. I don't really have much time to do it in. So I still need to send out my first round of I still need to send out my first round of job applications anyway, so Oh well. Um What else? 
Oh yeah, I guess I should talk about what I got for my birthday. Um, let's see. I got I got a couple of very interesting things. I well, primarily I got Pokemon Black, which I still haven't touched that yet because I still haven't beaten my copy of Okami Din yet. Oops. Like I said, school kept me busy. I was on and off with things. Um. I also got a copy of... I also got The King's Speech on DVD, which, if you haven't seen that, I feel very bad for you, because that is such a good movie. I think everyone... people need... you need... people need to see this movie, because it's so good. Like... I mean, I know it sounds like I'm jumping on the bandwagon here, but I'm being genuinely serious. I was at first I saw this movie because I thought it was going to be an amazing period piece. It turned out to be so much more than that. It's a wonderful story. It really is. <laughs> Ow. Lol debt 5%. Um shoot do 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 do. <laughs> Lol. 4% crit does no damage. Other little non important gifts I got were a bag or a thing of half and half Oreos, which I'll finish those up now, those were good. And a new pair of tennis shoes, because my old ones were getting kind of ratty on me. That aside, though, I can't really think of anything else important. Well, okay, one of the things I did for for college this semester was I took the special, uh... I took the capstone course for my major, and one of- and the main thing for the- and the main thing for the capstone is that you need to work in a develop- is that you need to work in a small development team with a group of guys and make a game. Well, we'll make a- make a- make a good working demo of a game. And I did, and the, the, the one I worked on was a Unity game, it's called Hell's Cage. And it's pretty interesting. Basically what... Basically, you're in a cube, and... and the means to get... and if you want to get to the end of the cube, which in and of itself is a maze, you need to rotate the cube around at certain points. Phone! Hang on a second. Sorry about that, guys. That was one of my aunts on the phone. Friggin'. I swear I hate some days at this house. So many goddamn calls. Oh yeah, I guess I should talk about since my sister has bought... Well, since my sister and her fiancé bought their house, my sister has moved out. And that was a chore in and of itself to get all of her stuff out. Oh, man. Like, we actually filled up... My uh, father-in-law. Oh, I guess that's his. I guess that's a designation. For I guess that. I guess that's his designation. I'm not sure, but we filled up my father-in-law's big, big-ass truck he has, which is, which is apparently not 
Oh, I don't know, I shouldn't really say anything about that, but we filled it up and... Th th this is a big truck, it's not like, it's not an 18 wheeler or anything, but... It's still, still, it's a pretty big truck. And we literally filled the thing up as far as we could and there was still stuff. And granted, a lot of it was, was like, kind of like, yard stuff and not necessarily her property, but still. Um, let me see. So yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much, you know, been what I've been. Well, not, so yeah, that's pretty much been my life at this point. Well, up till this point, I mean to say. Oh yeah, my theater also finally got 3D in a couple of screens, which is pretty badass. I actually watched the pre- I actually watched a couple of previews in 3D when we were at our last meeting this past Saturday. Which, ugh, why do they have to have meetings at 8 o'clock in the morning? Couldn't they have them at like 9 o'clock? Seriously, I- ugh. See, my thing is, because I work door, I work, and they started setting me to midnight like a few weeks ago because of the last Medea movie. So, I only had about 8 hours sleep that night. In fact, like not- In fact, not even. It was more like 7, but still. I never get enough sleep for those damn meetings. I always feel like I'm falling over. But, um, but, yeah, that's really about it. I mean, I'm looking forward to watching Pirates 4, which actually comes out on my lp anniversary, which is bitchin', in 3D. I might act in fact, if I'm, if at all possible, I might actually try to watch it the night before, if at all possible, but I don't know. Um... <laughs> What else? Oh yeah, um... I beat Okami, finally. At, along, I actually finished up Okami before Chugga finished it in his Let's Play, which is pretty nice. And, and speaking of which, have you? I don't know if you guys have noticed, but... But, but Chugga Conroy had... But Chugga Conroy and Proton John started a fan chan... Eh, started a collab channel. Oh, a collaborative Let's Play channel. Which... Which Nintendo Capri Sun is also a part of, called the Runaway Guys. They've already completed. A they've already completed a group let's play of Paper Mario. I mean, no, not Paper Mario. Mario Party, Mario Party One, to be more specific. And now they're doing. And now they're posting their their pre-recorded stuff of New Super Mario Brothers Wii from when they were all at PAX East with special guest star Josh Jepsen as the fourth player. So yeah, it's a bit of interesting kind of current LP news, which is pretty interesting. If you guys haven't subbed to the Runaway Guys, you really should. They're really funny. It is, oh man, it's like, it's like if I could, I would love to be a part of these groups. But, um, I still got time, I still got more stuff to talk about. Um, So yeah, the 3DS also launched in March. I know, I know my new friend through YouTube and Skype, Cal... Cal, um, crap. I forget the rest of his name, it's just... His YouTube name is the same as his Skype name, I'm sure he'll leave a comment on this when I put it up, but... But Cal, he actually got one on, on his, on, on the UK's launch day. Which is pretty bitchin', of course, unfortunately. Um, um, unfortunately, the thing about the 3DS is that its launch lineup is pretty bleh. So, what, um... So what I decided to do was wait until until this one game that I really want is coming out. And that one game, which, if you know me, you'll probably already know what it is, but I'll tell you anyway. Ocarina of Time 3D. Yeah. Ocarina of Time 3D for the 3DS. I've been looking forward to this game since I first heard about it, and it has only become a juicier apple since. Freaking mirrored Master Quest mode, which is twice as, with, with twice as hard enemies. A boss rush mode, which can be accessed by going into your house and sleeping. New... The water temple has been made easier, because you can put the iron boots on in a, in a little menu down there, then you can just toggle them on and off. And also, and also actually gives you directions so you don't have to look at a guide, which is pretty awesome. I'm glad Nintendo finally opened it up. And, and, and of course the icing on the cake is the improved graphics, which... I mean, I know a lot of people knock the graph. I know a lot of people are knocking on the graphics right now, but 
You gotta admit, they look a hell of a lot better than they did on the N64. Besides, it actually looks more like the, um... Uh... Fuck. It looks more like the art style that they originally had in mind, which is pretty cool, so... Yeah, I'm gonna be buying that on launch day, which is June 19th in the States. Whoop. Among other things. Um... Okay, video is nearly over. Like I said, I haven't done this in a while, so you have to forgive me. So yeah, guys, this has been part 74, and I've been Master Soul Warrior. I'll see you guys for part 75. Bye.